Hello, welcome to Match Yard Maintenance and Garage. I gotta tell you, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Like literally every piece of equipment, every truck, right now, everything has got a problem with it. Uh, we're gonna dive into the Skag Cheetah behind me. Um, I'm gonna show you what's going on with it. I'm gonna show you the symptoms I had and anyways, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I'm gonna show you what I went through. So the other day I put the mower in the trailer, I go to drive to the next job and I noticed the mower had rolled back into the right. I thought to myself, well that's kind of weird, maybe I had a good bump. I'll load it up again, bring it to the next job, get out, it is rolled back into the right again. And I noticed that, you know, when I push down on the brake, I'm like, man, it kind of feels a little squishy, it doesn't feel like normal. Uh, not really brake, they're just kind of like, a, it's a parking brake. But I've replaced the pads in these tires before. I actually have a video on it. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link somewhere. I don't know where, but you'll see the link. Anyways, so I'm like, you know, maybe it needs pads. I haven't done them in a long time. And, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, this pedal just doesn't feel right. And I'm looking at the rod on this side and I'm, I'm like, everything looks good, you know. Uh, and then I come and I look down on this side. There's a rod right there. And there's the other piece where it goes into right there um, that has fallen apart so that is what we are going to work on today all right first thing we want to do is find somewhere to jack this up there's a silver bar up there I would not jack up on that this metal plate right here the kind of like a muffler guard is perfect it's stable uh, there's plenty of flat spot on it and that's a good spot to jack it up all we need is just enough just to get that wheel off all right get yourself a 21 millimeter and get yourself an impact. All right, so you can see our problem right here. It's supposed to go onto this guy right here. My fingers. Somehow that has fallen out. So I'm going to release the brake, which it is. All right, get yourself a 15 millimeter. I'm going to try and thread this guy back into that. I've already kind of lined it up. So we're just going to make sure it's kind of straight on. Jam nut is a 14 millimeter. Right, I'm just gonna try that. We're gonna see how that feels. We're gonna see how it looks. <clears throat> yeah, I can already tell you it feels a lot better. It feels normal. And you know what I do out of force of habit from having to replace those brake pads so many times years ago, because I had to do it twice already. Every time I release the brake, I take my foot and I just bring it back, just so there's nothing dragging on that uh, caliper down there. Um, but that feels better, let's try it out. Yeah, that brake pedal feels like way better. Um, you could just tell uh, something was just off with it before, and obviously there was, um, but that's it. So, you know, if you ever get in this situation and your mower keeps rolling back, pay attention to what side it's rolling back, because this one kept rolling back on this side, right? Meaning that this side wasn't locking in, right? If, it, you know, obviously if it's coming back to the left, 
take a look at this side. I mean, I don't know, take a look at both sides, but that just kind of gives you an idea of what might be going on. And like I said, I got a video uh, showing you how to replace the, uh, they're kind of like calipers. They're like an all-in-one. There's no pads or anything. The, the pads are just kind of built into the caliper. So when you have to replace them, you have to like replace the whole entire unit itself. But like I said, go ahead, check that video out. I'll link it somewhere, I don't know where. So anyways, uh, I hope that fixed your problem. Or if not, I hope you just enjoyed watching the video all together. Make sure to give it a like, share, subscribe. Uh, it would help the channel out a lot and uh, I appreciate it and I hope to make more videos. Well, we will be making more videos because I still got to fix that truck and put that all back together. But anyways, till next time. All right, guys, well, that's it. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, check out these videos. That one's kind of cool. I like that one. That one's cool, too. That one's my favorite.